Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.16.3. Now, first and foremost, you are going to need a paper, spigot, or bucket Minecraft server. Specifically, we would recommend paper. There's no reason you should go in anything else but a paper Minecraft server. And luckily, in the description down below, the second link down below, you will find our in-depth guide for creating your very own paper server. If you have a vanilla Minecraft server, meaning you've downloaded it from Minecraft.net, it's very, very easy to convert. Just replace your jar file with your paper jar file from the video in the description down below and then you'll be good to go however if you don't want to go through any of that hassle and you just want to set up a paper server in the easiest way possible, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to do just that. They have one-click setup of paper servers, and on top of that, they make installing plugins very, very easily, being able to do it super, super quickly over their website. They've also got 24-hour, 7-day week support, so should you have any problems, you can reach out to Apex at any time, day or night, and they will be able to help you out, give you a solution, and get your server exactly where you want it. So go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server up and running quickly and easily. Nevertheless, let's jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is obviously download some plugins. Well, I guess the first thing is get your paper server set up, and we have one right here. So as you can see, paper 1.16.3 server, we open it up, we have the paper.yml and the plugins folder. You should have both of these in your server folder, and basically have those there, you're good to go. If you don't have those there, you need to get a paper server, and again, those links are in the description down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and download some plugins. So if you go to the third link, second link, third link in the description down below, it will take you here, and this is where you can get your plugins for 1.16. Pretty much all 1.16 plugins work in 1.16.3. All the plugins on this list here have been completely updated and are working in 1.16.3 as well, in addition to the plugins on this video here. The video plugins are a bit different from the list plugins, and they're the top 10 list plugins, so be sure you look at both. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and scroll down here in this video. We're going to be installing a few different plugins. Specifically, we're going to be installing holographic displays. So let's go ahead and grab that one by clicking that button there. We're also going to be grabbing MCMMO, and we're going to grab Grief Prevention. Basically, these three are right in a row right there. I guess not in a row, but anyway, those three. And so once you click on all those, I'll open them all in new tabs. We can go here and find holographic displays. We're going to click on the file button here. Make sure this is 1.16 compatible, which as we can see it is. And then click on the gray download button there. And then go ahead and start the download. As you can see, we do need to keep this file in the bottom left. So let's go ahead and click on keep, and it will save it in the bottom left. Now I am noticing that we are having an error here on Spigot with MCMMO. That's because you do need to log into your Spigot account in order for things to work. So once you log in, we can see the MCMMO link does work. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to click on the download now. If you've purchased MCMMO, that'll be there. If you don't or haven't purchased MCMMO, you'll need to do that in order to get this plugin. It is a premium plugin, but it's very much so worth it. As you can see, it downloads in the bottom left here. We want to go ahead and click on the keep button for MCMMO.jar. You may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, last but not least, let's grab grief prevention. Again, we want to click on the file tab there, and we want to make sure this is 1.16 compatible. We can see that it is, so let's go ahead and go over here to the left-hand side, click on that gray download button, and when we click on that, it will download in the bottom left from Google Chrome, center of our screen on Mozilla Firefox, keep them or save them depending on your browser. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on my desktop I have holographic displays, MCMMO, and grief prevention. I've also got those files that I need to make go away. There we go. So we've got these three plugins right here. Now these are on your desktop, they can be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, right like so, then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows, click on that, and then in here you'll find all of your plugins. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to install plugins in Minecraft, it is this simple and this easy. Just open up your server folder, right? Just open up your main server directory where you're going to have your like server.properties file. And if you have a paper server, which you need to, you'll have your paper.yml file and all of that stuff. Then find your plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, you need a paper server, so go set one up. But then once you have your plugins folder, go ahead and double click on that plugins folder to open it. And then just take holographic displays, MCMO, grief prevention, anything you want, world edit, no matter what plugin it is, drag and drop it into this plugins folder, right? So, and then go ahead and come back and start your server. It's that simple, that easy. Now we go back to our plugins folder here while our server is starting. We'll actually be able to see over here on the left hand side, the server will recognize, right, that the plugins are there. And it'll start setting them up and doing all that stuff. Uh, it's going to move pretty fast though, but yeah, nevertheless, it did recognize me. See MCMMO conversion progress, MCMMO grief prevention is there. Holographic displays, haven't seen anything with that yet, but no big deal. It's all working because we have these three folders here. Now, where are these folders located? Again, they're in your plugins folder right here with the rest of your plugins. And they're important because this is where you can configure things. For example, grief prevention, you can come in here and you can configure your config.yml and grief prevention to set up all sorts of different things, default claim blocks, all that stuff. MCMMO, guess what? We've got this here. We can go in here and to the config, we can go in here to you know the the 
skill ranks. You can change everything about MCMO. Truthfully, though, most of the stuff you're going to do is in the config.yml. You can go in there, change different things, change how the leveling system works, all of that stuff. And they also have holographic displays here where you can go in here and do config and things like that as well. See the database of all the holographic displays in-game, all of that. I'm going to be showing you all three of these plugins in-game once we get in there, but I do see that the server has frozen for a second. That's not a big deal. That's probably my computer more than anything else. I'm guessing if we just wait for a second, it will be good to go. And, oh, actually, it is good to go because we can see done there. The reason it stopped is because there's nothing to convert, so zero out of zero users. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft game. Basically, we're going to open up Minecraft 1.16.3, and I will see you once we get in-game. Let's go ahead and click play. I will see you in minecraft 1.16.3 to join this server and check it out so here we are on the minecraft main menu where we're going to go ahead and click on multiplayer then we can click on direct connect i'm going to direct connect just to this local server that's where we're hosting it if you're using apex you would connect to your server ip there whatever uh that may be but nevertheless whenever you're in game here we can go ahead and to test and see if any plugins are in game you can just do slash pl so just slash pl or slash plugins and you'll be able to see the plugins you have installed free for mention holographic displays and mcmmo if they are green guess what that means they're working they are set up and they are good to go if they aren't green they're not working correctly and you need to make sure that they do so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and give myself some diamond tools here you might be wondering why i'm doing that because we're gonna test mcmmo we're gonna see what is up with mcmmo and make sure that is working and then after that i'm going to go ahead and test holographic displays and then i'm going to test the uh to do grief prevention mod. Sorry, I had, had to think about what uh, what everything was here. My bad. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and now go into survival, where we can kind of equip all this and be good to go. So the easiest way to test MCMMO is to just, uh, well, just do some digging. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. And oh, we have a cat there. That's pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and do some digging. As you can see, we are learning a new skill. That is the sign of MCMMO. And boom, excavation skill is level one. Now we go ahead and we continue to break that grass, right? So we were breaking grass there. We're seeing that we are learning a new skill as we break the grass. And very, very quickly, we will go ahead and boom, hit herbalism level one. There we go. Now we're not done there yet. There's more to MCMMO than just breaking, you know, <laughs> breaking dirt and grass with your shovel. There's also the mining aspect, and you can level up your mining. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, we're now learning a new skill, and very quickly we will level up our mining to level one. So awesome stuff there. I'm not going to go into in-depth with any skills or anything, but we can see we are now mining level 1. If we do slash mining in chat, we'll be able to see that we have a level 1. We have 51 XP. If we do slash excavation, we'll be able to see that we have 952 excavation XP at level 1. And then if we do slash herbalism, we'll be able to see that we have um, 37 XP there. But overall, that's kind of that. Now, there are tons and tons more of MCMMO skills and stuff, but that's all we're going to be showing off in this video. For example, if I go ahead and kill this cow, you'll be able to see the hearts are added from MCMMO and you're learning the new sword skill there. Even if we chop down these trees right like this, we will be able to see that we begin learning a skill with MCMMO. That's how prevalent MCMMO skills are. They're awesome. This is a really, really cool plugin, and I would recommend anyone get it. Now, with holographic displays, let's go ahead. We're going to go back into creative. We don't have to be. We're just going to fly up because we want to go ahead and do a holographic display. Now, this is going to be kind of off the top of my head. I'm not going to lie. It's been a minute since uh, I have created a holographic display. So one quick second while I get a quick refresher. So to get started, what we want to do is slash HD space create. And then we'll do test right like so. And as you can see, this default hologram change it with HD edit test because test is the name. So HD edit test, and then that'll change us like show us all the different lines. So for example, if we want to do slash HD set line test, and then line number one, and then the new text is going to be welcome or subscribe. That's what we'll do. We'll do a and red, and then we'll bold it and we'll italicize it. To do sorry. Uh, it's been a minute, so we'll bold it and italicize it. Subscribe to the breakdown. Exclamation point. Boom. There we go. So subscribe to the breakdown. And then we're going to add line. So we're going to do HD space add line. And then the hologram name, which is test. And then we're going to do play. So boom, boom, boom. Come play on play.breakdowncraft.com. And then we'll add another line. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse. <laughs> that's that's kind of that's cool there. We actually use holographic display. We use all three of these plugins on Breakdown Craft. So 
There we go. Boom. And there's that. So subscribe to the breakdown. Come play on breakdowncraft. Play our breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Awesome. So there we go. We have now tested holographic displays. We have now tested MCMO. And last but not least is grief prevention. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and get our trusty golden shovel. And then we're going to grab our stick as well. Now, normally I would recommend you create yourself a, uh, you know, kit with these two in it in game. So people will be able to, you know, use it better. But yeah. Also, when you first place down a chest in grief prevention, it auto claims. So let's go ahead and test that. We place that down, boom, that is grief prevention working. We have our claim set up. We can use the golden shovel to extend our claim. We don't have enough claim blocks, so hold on. So there we go, we did adjust claim blocks, or ACB, and then my username, and then 10,000. So now we don't have to worry about adjusting our claim. We can make it as large or as small. Well, not as small, there's a limit on how small you can make a claim, but there you go. We can now adjust that claim. We can also go over here and make a brand new claim, right like so. Boom, brand new claim created, and we can see these claims with the stick. We can see that I own that. I can hold shift and show all the claims around here, right like so. Boom. So that's that. That's how you can set up your clan claims in grief prevention. There's also the slash claim book, which kind of explains things. Oh, excuse me, claim book, and then my username. And that kind of explains things, how to claim land, how to use grief prevention, all that stuff. But there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new Minecraft plugins. Again, super simple, super easy to install them. Just literally drag and drop them into that plugins folder. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play our breakdowncraft.com. Over 150 players online at peak hours every single day. So come play with us. Play our breakdown craft.com is the IP. We've got custom survival, 1.16.3 survival, medieval survival, 30 custom quests, player based economy, aquatic survival, amazing slash shop based economy, custom skyblock, OP enchantments, fence generators, so much more. And again, we do have factions as well. Small 10 player team based factions. Faction season 3 is about to get started. So come play with us. Play our breakdown craft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, I will see you online. My name is Nick. This has been the breakdown, and I am out. Peace.